Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine is one of the participants in the Armed Forces Institute for Regenerative Medicine program. And as such, a lot of the projects that we do here at our institute are also related in some manner to the work that we're doing for our wounded warriors. The work of a firm is so important for our wounded warriors and we are totally dedicated to making sure that these regenerative medicine technologies are able to reach that segment of our population. We are working on over 30 different tissues and organs here at the Institute and really all of these projects have in some way some related benefit to our AFIRM program. What our goal is, is to actually develop a bioprinter that can uh, deposit cells within a wound to enhance or increase the, the healing rate of that wound. One of those components is our scanner that, will, uh, that we can use to scan uh, the wound area. That information is then fed into the computer, which then takes that information, integrates it, and then feeds it back to the printer. And then here is the, the print head that will contain all of the cell solutions that are needed. And then that is printed directly into the wound bed. A muscle, in fact, has an incredible regenerative capacity, but some of the devastating wounds caused by the high velocity projectiles uh, in the combat arena create an extent of muscle damage that cannot be effectively repaired by the body itself. There's not a lot of treatment options for these devastating wounds because they involve such a large amount of muscle. Soldiers have to undergo numerous surgery. The technique that we've come up with for these large injuries is to basically take a scaffold, um, seat it with uh, muscle progenitor cells, and then as you can see in the, uh, in the bioreactor here, what we're doing is we're actually stretching the scaffolds that contain the muscle cells. What we're trying to do is develop what are called particulate oxygen generators, or POGs. If those blood vessels, that network of blood vessels is damaged or destroyed or is non-existent, well then what do we do? Well that's where the POG technology comes in. It really gives us the means to be able to deliver oxygen right where we need it. We've also preclinically seen how the POGs can improve uh, in wound healing and how they can improve the outcomes of skin flaps truly some of the best people working in the field coming together focused on bringing these technologies to our wounded warriors has been a major advantage of this effort.